how to get TRC in Georgia. So let's start from the beginning. On arrival on the Tbilisi International Airport, uh, there as a resident of UAE, you will have your Emirates ID. So uh, you don't need a visa before entering Tbilisi. You will get a visa on arrival. That is of 90 days. So you enter uh, Tbilisi and the first thing you have to do is to get a SIM card for your Georgian number. That will be beneficial in all the procedures henceforth. So after uh, entering Tbilisi, you know, go to your hostel uh, or hotel and then uh, go check with your university where you have to check uh, all, all your documents. Uh, is your uh, admission fully completed? Uh, is your fees to fully transferred? Are your documents same that the uh, university requires? There, you have to first apply for a university SNOBA. SNOBA is a document, uh, it's in Georgian, Georgian name, that means bona fide certificates. Basically, a document that states that you are a student of this university. So, you can apply for your student card. Student card is a bank account, uh, it's a card that is from the Bank of Georgia or any other bank. It is preferable to get a card from Bank of Georgia, it is a national bank. So, there uh, you need your bank SNOBA, your university SNOBA. So, you go to the bank and uh, there you have to specifically state that you are a student studying in this university. So, you need a student card. There you have to uh, obviously have money that should be in dollars. Uh, it should be $2,000 because uh, when you are applying for your visa and TRC, you need to show a bank statement that states that you have $1,000 in your student account. Okay, so then you have to uh, tell them that you need a student card. So for that, you need your passport, your university, SNOBA and your Georgian number. When you go there, the, they'll make you fill a form. Then you have to state uh, obviously all your uh, information and your Georgian number. So they say ki, uh, in within one or two days, business days, uh, your card will be made and you will get an SMS. You will get a message that states that uh, your card is ready, please go to the bank and collect it. So after that, you will get your uh, student card. When you have your student card, now you can start on the application for your visa. Okay. So uh, you have to get a D3 visa. D3 visa is a visa for students, a student visa. So for the documents you need, obviously you need your passport and you need a passport translation. You need your university SNOBA, that is the bona fide certificate from your university. You need a document from the National Center for Education uh, Quality Enhancement. This is a document just uh, stating that you have entered in the university, you are a student uh, mentally capable and you are studying in Georgia and you need the bank statement. So when you get your student card, then you can apply for your bank statement because you have uh, given them the money, thousand dollars in your bank account. So you need the bank statement. Then you need a medical insurance. Medical insurance, you can get it from your university. After you're done with all the procedures, you can state to them that I need a medical insurance from this uh, university. So please go through that and then uh, via email, you can get your uh, medical insurance. Then you, uh, you need an address proof from the hostel or um, an apartment you're living in. You have to state to the own owner that I'm going to apply for the visa and I'm going to apply for TRC. Please provide me the address proof. Uh, there, there are two uh, ways you can get address proof the, to go to the Justice House, the Minister of Justice there. One is you can take your owner with you. Uh, so they'll fill the form for you in Georgian and they'll sign there. So they'll be one person that you, uh, they'll be like, yeah, I'm interesting this student with me. So I'm signing uh, for this student. But if you don't need that uh, or if you are you prefer it to be in documents, you can tell them, no, I just need a document. So they'll give you an address proof written in Georgian and then they'll also give, there'll be two documents. They'll give you both documents, one in English, one in Georgian, preferably it will be in Georgian. Uh, and then you need your Emirates ID. And then uh, you have to wait for it's almost one month, the time period to get your visa. But uh, you can even get it for like 10 days, 20 days. Sometimes the process is fast, sometimes it's delayed. But within a month, you will get your visa. You get an e-visa. So you, the visa is also for 90 days. So after you get your visa, you have to get it printed. And now you have to start the procedure of getting a TRC. So, okay, let's start with what is TRC. 
TRC is a Georgian Temporary Residency Card. So as we have Emirates ID over here, that is the same as uh, Georgian TRC. Okay, so we, TRC uh, temporary as in we are foreign citizens, we are not a citizen of Georgia. So we get uh, a TRC that is like it can be more than uh, 90 days because our visa will expire in 90 days. So we need a, a proof of uh, residence there, residence in permit. So after like 90 days or like up to 6 years you can get. So when you first apply the first fresh uh, application for TRC, you get it for one year. And after that, after the period of one year is over, you can apply it for uh, five years, six years or three years according to your wish, how you are living there, if you are pursuing a degree or working, it depends upon that. Okay, so what are the documents that is required to apply for TRC? Uh, first of uh, first and foremost passport and passport translation here also you need university snowbar you need the bona fide certificate but here there is a specification that you need a university snowbar for trc <laughs> this happened with me uh, i got a normal university snowbar so that was not applicable you need a university snowbar that is specifically for trc there it will state that the student is going to study in this program for these many years uh, these many days and uh, it is uh, possible for the student to graduate on this day on this month of this year so that way you can get a TRC and uh, when you submit that uh, snowbar later when you renew your TRC for five more years or how many years you like there uh, you will be like see I have submitted the uh, snowbar and states that I am graduating in this year so I need for five more years and then you need the visa copy you need your bank snowba again you have to take a bank statement again the older one you took for visa is not applicable the it is only applicable for 10 days after taking a bank statement you have to within 10 days you have to submit the document after that it's not applicable so, and obviously you need address proof and your passport size photos so here address proof uh, here again it will be two more documents one document just stating that you are living in this hostel or living in this apartment and other one is like filled with all the details upon who is the owner, uh, why are you living there, how are you living there, which street, which area, everything is specified. Okay, and they'll double check with you ki which area you are living. So please know that your, your street name, your area name, Georgian English, you should know everything. Okay, and here passport size photos, it's not the one we take here for all the documents there when you go to the justice house we have to take pictures there and they will uh, click the pictures there and, and the sizing is different and the font is different over there so uh, now the steps for trc uh, application you go there uh, in the reception you have to state that i am a fresh uh, i need a fresh application for trc it's my first time they'll give you a form it's like four five six pages you have to go there and then you fill the form, uh, write all your details, your address. Address should be the same as in your address proof. The spelling, there should be not, uh, no mistakes. Check and then uh, check. And then after that, you have to check your name in Georgian. Because sometimes they, uh, they will, there will be mistake. I, A, mistake. Like if your name is in Hindi, the matra can be mistake. Because in my surname, they wrote Chandni Kumar. So my, uh, it, should be, it should be Kumari. So uh, please know your name and your parents name in Georgian how it is written. Please check your phone numbers. They mistake the phone numbers. Uh, so please check everything. Write the application and then uh, you'll get a token and then you'll go uh, there for the application. When you're done with it, they'll tell uh, that within a month you will get a, uh, your application will be approved. So there you don't get an email or uh, a message. There you have to check on the uh, ministry website it's an SDA government website Georgian government website there you have to go uh, and you'll get a receipt there you'll uh, have your uh, login information you have to log in from uh, with that account uh, information and then you will uh, see a Georgian page it will be you have to translate it obviously you'll get a Georgian page and it will uh, show key it is approved or not so there it will be uh, written satisfied if it is satisfied then you can go to the uh, justice house and then you will show them ki yes my application is satisfied it's approved please uh, apply my for my card so there and then it will take 10 business days for the card to be made so then you apply 
then you have to pay a fee of 60 lari you can pay it by cash or by card 60 lari uh, lari is the currency of georgia so you pay 60 lari there and then you have to wait for 10 days so uh, after, there will be, on the receipt the date will be written so on that day you go there show them the receipt show them your passport and then they hand over the card to you so this is the full procedure of uh, getting a trc if you have any doubts or any questions for me please uh, write them in the comment section i'll be happy to respond thank you so much